Right. Well, listen, if the bitch didn't want herpes, she wouldn't have eaten from the microwave. Uh, hey, can I call you back? I've got not important things to do. Okay. Hello, everyone out there in internet land who uh, is not going to be watching this video, but that's the way it goes on the tubes of you. Um, nobody watches anything I do, uh, so I don't even know why I'm doing it. But I'm bored, and I decided that uh, if I'm going to be living this life for as long as I've been living it, uh, hopefully I should get something out of it. And uh, believe me, it's not the paycheck, because, I mean, even though it does pay the bills, uh, working in retail uh, is not glamorous for most people, uh, me being one of them. Um, so I decided, uh, since I don't do anything else with my life, I might as well take time out to make a couple minutes uh, every week uh, a video of things that I've encountered from the geniuses who shop at retail outlets. Um, and when I say I'm going to do it every week, uh, I mean, obviously that just means if I'm not busy, which in turn actually translates to um, if I'm not being lazy, which, to be honest with you, is what would happen because I don't fucking do anything. This is the most I've done all weekend, and it's Sunday. I've been off since Wednesday. So, right. Anyway, um, just sitting here with my... Coke Vanilla Zero, um, not which is actually isn't as good as the normal um, Coke Vanilla. Uh, probably do review. Uh, I'm not going to do a review on that because uh, I've already done that with soda, and that you all know how that turned out. Not very well. You can watch it somewhere on my page. I don't know. YouTube changes all the time. Uh, you can find it if you want. It's soda. Anyway, let's get down to it, because um, I've been doing nothing, as I said. So, been in retail for over 10 years, so I have quite a few stories, anecdotes, you know, jokes, whatever you want to call them, and I figure they can be put to good use to give someone a laugh besides me. There's got to be one person who wants to hear something like this. Uh, out, out there who works retail or in the service industry or wherever where you work with the general public because the general public has an IQ of 7 and considering my IQ of 183 I mean I'm just like I'm here <coughs> that's the coke uh, and they're so far down that they don't even register on the screen I'm here I'm like right at the top right there and they're so far down Anyway, I can't do math. I was never good at fractions. Um, so let's just get down to it. I don't have anything planned. I'm just going to talk. Planned. Yeah, let me, let me read some piece of paper. Okay, let's read this napkin. Yeah. Anyway. Um, as some of you probably have heard, this past weekend, uh, not this weekend that we're in, the one past, uh, there was a hurricane... I do this a lot. Hurricane in the United States on the eastern side. This side right here, where there's Maine all the way down to Florida. That's how they say it down there, Florida. Actually, that's the IQ7, people say it. Um, and I worked the Thursday beforehand. The day pretty much everyone decided to freak out and go buy batteries, radios, all that nonsense. So, at about noon, I'm being extremely generous here, by hours, we were out of C&D batteries, the ones everybody wanted. You would not believe the amount of people who complained to me that we were out of them, because everyone else was out of them. And it was impossible for them to believe we were out of them, like everyone else, because everyone else was doing the same thing they were doing. I had one lady come up to me and say, I don't understand why you're out of them. Oh, I said, for the same reason that you're coming here to buy them, everyone else was coming here to buy them. Well, it doesn't make sense. Mm, you're right, it doesn't make any sense. Get the fuck out of the store. Thanks. Um, 
That's one. I mean, I could, literally could have done a friggin' entire stand-up on that entire day. I'm not going to. Again, the laziness is there. That's the reason why. Not because I'm not good enough. That's like a 10% of it. Anyway, um, there's another problem we have is people who ask you questions, uh, and for you, those who don't know, uh, I work in a very high volume area of the store, of a retail store, um, which is the electronical area, um, which also happens to encompass uh, toys and other things of that nature as well um, on, on top of electronics. So anyway, you would not believe the amount of people who don't know anything about electronics. And I mean like the willful ignorance of anything. I mean, you might know. I mean, you've seen reality TV. Everyone's an idiot who's on that shit. So, um, people constantly ask you questions. Ask for your opinions. You tell them, and then they completely dismiss it. And they're just going to go, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll ask my son. Let me call my son, I'll ask him. Then what the fuck did you ask me for? If you're not going to take what I'm telling you as truth, because I'm the person who should know, why are you even bothering asking me if you're going to just immediately go call your son anyway in front of me and have him tell you the exact same thing I've told you, or actually, more often than not, tell you something completely incorrect, and all you would need to do is read the fucking box where it tells you right there what you wanted to know. But you better get your son on the phone who, you know, hasn't left the basement in 18 years. He'll know. He'll totally know. Um, another thing that happened, and you know what, this is probably going to be it because I don't want to take up too much more of your time. I've, I see that it's gone on for way too long, and these, if I ever continue doing them, are going to be a couple at a time. But this was my introduction to bullshit um, that you're going to be not watching. So... Another thing that happened to me last week, a couple weeks ago, whenever it was, there's no time frame. I got 10 years to go on. So when I say this week, just know that it may not have happened this week. Anyway, some lady was cleaning the toys aisle, one of the toys aisle, picked up a toy, looked at me, and said, Oh my god, I cannot believe how amazing these toys are. The things they can do today, the things toys can do today. This is 2011. If you're amazed by something a toy can do now, I can't imagine you living back, way back when things were actually happening to further this industry and nation and everything else in the world. We have the fucking internet now. You can walk down the street and get money out of a box, okay? You can go anywhere and order food like that. You couldn't do that 100 years ago. Me talking about food. Looking pretty thin this week. Uh, yeah, I mean, th if this is the time when you are amazed by things happening, where the fuck have you been living? Africa? In a, you know, a, a nation where there's huts and flies and that's it? That's not racist. Look it up. That shit happens. Might be a little bit racist, but you know what? Racism is right in your face in Africa. Black people and all that. That got off topic. Who cares? I don't know what I'm doing. So, in summation, if y'all want to talk about it, you can. Uh, people who work in the industry of, of you know retail, you know, restaurants, anything where you have to work with these stupid people of the public, as I said, you can leave comments wherever you want and talk about how dumb they are. Uh, make your own videos. That'll be ten times better than mine. That'll be ten times shorter than mine. Do what you want because it's your world. It's called YouTube. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the inaugural version of This Week in Retail. There may be another one. Don't hold your breath. I will probably not keep you posted, so find it on your own. This world is fantastic. Uh, enjoy. Enjoy.